After Joy tries to pretend Obama's still president, Newt destroys her on live TV by that conservative girl politics for MadWorldNews.com. On Tuesday, Joy Behar, co-host of uh, ABC's The View, tried to pretend that Barack Obama was still president, giving him all the credit for Donald Trump's accomplishments. However, Former Speaker of the House Newt Gingrich was having none of it and promptly destroyed her on live television. On Tuesday's episode of The View, uh, former Speaker of the House Newt Gingrich was the special guest at the Hot Topics table, where he demonstrated just how hypocritical the opinions held by the show's liberal ladies. Uh, I use the term lo loosely here. Huh. After asking Gingrich, uh, I, this is kind of an eight minute interview. In the beginning, Gingrich, uh, comes out like sort of weak, but towards the end, once, uh, they get to the nitty gritty where, uh, Gingrich calls him out, uh, you could see, uh, then they, then they cut the clip sort of, but take a listen because it's quite the cocktails long. of me and my husband, and we are sharing the Hot Topics table with him right now. Please welcome author of Trump's America, former Speaker of the House, Newt Gingrich. <laughs> Well, I'm so glad you're here, Newt. We are good friends. You go way back with my husband. I actually have a picture for everyone from 1995. See the one with the glasses? Oh, That's oh, my oh, husband oh. with you after the contract for America signing in 1995. Mm -hmm. um, we had, nice to know he was a geek back then. He's been a nerd for forever. <laughs> you know, you were one of the people that encouraged us to get married. Had you known I would end up at this table, would you have still wanted him to marry me? Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. As good looking as you are, he's lucky you even look at him. <laughs> He's very smart. He's very smart. He considers you a mentor. So, yes, it's very nice to have you here. Mm -hmm. Well, we talked about uh, the current White House resident canceling the White House celebration honoring the Philadelphia Eagles. Not one of the players took a knee during the national anthem at the Super Bowl. So, what is this really about? Yeah, I'm going to think about that. Lives in New York. Loves the Patriots. I just wonder if he didn't want the Eagles to be with him. You know, I'm just one of those part of, just one of those You're avoiding the question. Yeah. I thought knowing Trump, that's as good an answer as any. In your book, in your new book, Trump's America, you write about the many positive things that President Trump has done since he's taken office. What do you think the best thing is that he's done and the worst thing? Oh, I think the best thing is the economy. I think the, the fact that we have the lowest black unemployment in history. Can you take credit for that? Isn't that Obama's doing? Oh, no. <laughs> okay. I think, I, think, I, think this, I think this quarter we will have more than twice the economic growth rate of any quarter in the eight years of Obama. Because he's now, been set up. He was given a gift. Well, yeah. well yeah. you know. It's true. So Obama gets it both ways. He got a terrible gift from George W. Bush. He gave Trump a good gift. Anything good happens under Trump is actually Obama. It's true. Well, that's one way to look at the world. He, uh, Obama <laughs> and, uh, uh, inherited a deficit. Right. Trump is inherited a surplus. And is accelerating. Well, we're in a deficit. Bigger. We're in a major deficit now, but, thanks to well, you. He inherited a financial surplus. He inherited a gradually growing economy. He's doubled the speed of growth. Yeah, but he has a second part to this question that yeah. I'm interested in. Uh -huh. I, you know, I think the worst thing he's done yeah. is he has joined in the general reduction of the quality of language in America. I think there are times when Trump says things and does things. And frankly, as President of the United States, he ought to set a tougher standard for himself than just being a businessman saying whatever he thinks. I think so many people watch President of the United States that there's sort of a standard of performance so people could follow you and imitate you. And there are times, frankly, you know, I, I would not particularly want my grandchildren to talk like Donald Trump. Mm. It's his disrespect for the McCain family, for the Khan family, for these guys who are trying to make a point about, about the for black Haiti lives Africa. in this country. I mean, it's it's more than just the, the verbiage. I, I have many 
my language is horrible, as you might have. I did some. Really? I said something during the break that you went, whoa. <laughs> so I don't care about language. It's really the sentiment well, behind you know, what's showing the country. She was asking me my opinion, okay, but, not your opinion. Uh, but, I'd be glad for you to substitute your opinion for Well, us. this is both of you, so we all give our opinions here. Well, you were one of the first. <laughs> when uh, when uh, President Trump spoke about liking people who weren't captured in regard to Senator McCain, yeah. you were someone who came out. So you're speaking yeah. not just language, but some of the content of. I thought it was terrible. I thought it was terrible. I still think it was terrible. Well, I think that, uh, and again, it's your dad, but, but he, when you look at what John McCain went through, mm -hmm. and you look at the courage he showed, and you look at him refusing to be released before the rest of the prisoners, it's an extraordinary statement of courage. I just thought Trump, look, I like Trump, but when Trump's wrong, I just say he's wrong. Should he apologize to John? Sure, of course he should. Yeah, but he won't. Well, um, I want to ask you about the uh, Mueller investigation. It's been a year since Robert Mueller uh, took over the Russia investigation, and at the time, you said, quote, Mueller was a superb choice. You still feel that way? No. I am, I'm, I am so saddened by how Mueller has done this. The 17 lawyers he's hired are all liberal Democrats. And one of the lawyers actually was one of Hillary's lawyers. Mueller's one of, a Republican. Well, apparently he's a very vague Republican, because <laughs> everybody on his team is a liberal Democrat. Uh, the fact I don't know is, if that's true. A lot of them are Republicans too. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think that's, that's true. true. Really? Aren't lawyers like judges, though? You you no. trust a judge to be objective. Aren't lawyers what, what, supposed to approach the law what, in the same way? Like, no, I was in the U.S. No. Attorney's Office. I didn't know the politics of anybody that I trusted. Well, I can with. I can guarantee you that if you look at who they donated money to, if you look at the fact that the worst lawyer in his group was at Hillary's election night uh, event. And in fact, that lawyer was repudiated nine to zero by the Supreme Court for having hid evidence in a case he prosecuted. Uh, these, uh, I really am saddened by how Mueller's handled this. So you're saddened by but the I, team but, I, but, but, but look, I, I have a very simple Jerry Maguire comment. Remember Jerry Maguire, show me the money? Yes. This guy's had $17 million, a mm -hmm. year and a half. It's supposed to be a Russia. Show me the, show me something that relates to I can show Trump. you the 17 indictments and the five guilty people. But they're not, but they're not about Russia. There's no evidence. There's, there's, no, wait, 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 there's no evidence that ties Donald J. Trump to anything involving Russia. Not yet. We don't so, know. Not yet. We don't know. Well, I just said this. So it's exactly. Like, show and me the evidence. He's okay. working on it. He's got he a year and a half and seventeen million dollars. He ought to have something by now. Well, but he oh. said he fixed that letter, right? The, yeah, the he did first the letter that that nobody knew about it, and then maybe maybe his son wrote it, then no, his dad wrote it. I mean, don't you think that? you must go through the process to find out if there is anything? Or are you saying, you're assuming that it's already you? Have you taken the idea that that our government is corrupt? Yes. <laughs> really? Well, and how long has it been that way, Newt? Well, I think you can go back to a number of cases. I think, I think the special counsel in the Bush years that, that set up Scooter Libby was totally corrupt, totally dishonest. I think that the U.S. attorney who, who uh, convicted a, a senator from Alaska and then later it turned out that in fact he had hidden the evidence that proved the senator was innocent. Uh, you know, there's an entire book on this uh, that walks by Sidney Powell mm -hmm. that walks you through case by case. Weissman, who's the lawyer I was referring to that works now for Mueller, is in her book because he destroyed Arthur Anderson with false evidence. He was repudiated nine to zero by the Supreme Court, and this guy is still there as though he was an honest man. Let me ask you something about the length of time. How long did Watergate take? I believe it was three years, and we didn't know anything about it mm -hmm. until he, until all the well, evidence no, you, came you know, out. Well, first and of all, of course, you, know, you know the first night because the police picked up the the guys. Well, yeah, there was a break, but we didn't know that yeah, Nixon was exactly. involved. It took a long time and a lot of a lot, a lot of investigation for that to come out. But this is the same situation. We don't know what Mueller has. He's tight as a drum, this guy. Not Nothing tight. has I mean, leaked. They leak to the New York Times anytime they want to leak. Look, look at the number of leaks in the what New York has, Times. What, what, like what? What has leaked from Mother's office? Right. A number Gosh. of things have leaked. A like ton. what? Like what? Well, I, can't, I don't have it on my note card right now, but a ton. He's through his professor friend. It does, what is leaked? I just. Oh, you mean the Comey? Well, wasn't it? No, that was, that was Comey. Yeah, Comey. That's, that's, we have that's to take not Mueller. But my, my right. question is again, I, I know it's simple minded. He said $17 million. He said a year and a half. Yeah. He has a whole bunch of Maybe it's a million dollars per, and, 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 per and, indictment. Yeah, but, but, but if you look at what they're doing, look. <laughs> let me give you an example. 
they indicted a Russian firm mm -hmm. which came into court recently and said, try it. Because we did not exist on the date you indicted us for. guilty plea? Can we go to a commercial okay. break, please? Yeah, 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 thank yeah, yeah. you. Yeah. You guys are just sticking around, and we'll thank God, and we'll be right back. Yeah, notice they want to go to commercial break when the uh, when they're getting to the uh, to the bottom line of everything. So uh, similarly, there is no way to credit Obama for the record low uh, black unemployment rate, despite being the first black president. He did nothing at all to help the black community. In fact, many feel that he brought this minority demographic back several decades in terms of economic advancement and race relations. Absolutely. President Trump is the best thing to happen to the, this country in years, and you won't see the women on The View admitting as much, though. They're too busy worshipping the ground Barack Obama walks on. And uh, basically, that's, that's what it says. And uh, you saw how biased they were and the clapping every time because they, they, they're uninformed. They get their news from the mainstream media and that's why the, the idiots in the view are clapping uh, and uh, they are just a bunch of cackling hag hens. That's what I would say. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.